What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to talk about the three lies that society is going to sell you. So the first lie that society is gonna sell you is essentially that, hey, money is the root of all evil. Now, if you actually look at that quote in the Bible, it actually says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And this is the real reason why it isn't. Okay, guys, we need to understand that money isn't everything, but it's up there with oxygen, okay? In order for you to go out there and have more freedom, you really need more money. You know, a lot of times people think that money is really a bad thing, but it's actually just a magnifier of who somebody actually is. I'll give you a prime example. You could have a bad person with no money, but that person can become a very evil person when you provide them a lot of money, right? And let's say you could have a good person with no money, but that person can become a great person with a lot of money by giving money back to charities, being able to contribute to his community. So money is just a magnifier. It just exposes an individual for who they truly are at a core. It isn't necessarily evil, right? If you look at what's going on in the world, if there was more money supplied to people, guys, I believe that all famine and war would end. Think about this real quick. Uh, economically, what happens? Okay, every single time the unemployment rate rises 1% in America, 14 to 40,000 kids are introduced to famine in America. Think about the war that's going on overseas, the constant battles and conflicts that happen within people and even marriages. More than 80% of marriages actually end up breaking up because of money, right? So money is just a magnifier. It's not an evil thing. And you should never have anybody feel or make you feel guilty for wanting to make more money. Now, let's talk about the second line. So, the second lie that society is gonna go out there and actually sell to you, okay, is the lie that money doesn't grow on trees. And I always say that money does grow on trees. Think about it, money comes from paper, and paper is made up by what? By trees, okay? Now, let me break down the deeper analogy. I truly believe that money does grow on trees, and for people that don't believe that, I just believe they haven't planted the right type of trees. Uh, and the reason we say that is because let's look at residual income, okay? Residual income is income that is being compounded for you, being made for you, regardless of whether you're there or not, okay? It's making money in your sleep. I'm gonna give you a prime example of how residual income works. It works in real estate, works in affiliate and network marketing, but it could also work in something as simple as a business, like let's say an ATM machine business or a vending machine business. Let's say we started our own ATM machine business. Okay, let's say I had an ATM machine, okay? Uh, to get us the ATM machine cost us about $2,000 and we needed about $5,000 in liquid cash, okay, to have that ATM machine uh, with, with money consistently supplied. So on average, it's gonna cost us about $7,000 probably with fees and other stuff attached to have a single ATM machine. Now let's say one ATM machine in one single area is gonna generate us about $600 a month in fees. So that right there, that 600 bucks a month, over the span of about six to eight, actually nine months, we'll probably be able to get our money back and then all the money that comes in, okay, is now profit, right? Is now profit coming in to pay off the ATM machine and going into our pockets. Now, this is the biggest thing. A lot of people don't get excited about $600 a month, but that 600 bucks a month is money that is being compounded for you, okay, whether you're there or not, okay? The concept of money doesn't grow on trees really came from people that didn't understand how to plant the right type of trees. Now imagine this, people don't get excited about 600 bucks a month, but imagine if you had 10 ATM machines and you're now making $6,000 a month residually, right? This thing happens in, AT, in the ATM business, the real estate business, and the network marketing business. The biggest problem sometimes though is people don't have capital. So in order to make $6,000 a month residually, you would need about $70,000 in upfront cash to do that, right? Not necessarily something that everybody has, but there's other vehicles out there with just a couple hundred bucks, you could have the exact same result. Um, and that's what we show how to do that in our YouTube channel. So the third lie, let's talk about the third lie that, that people are going to sell to you, okay, about money. The third lie is, okay, that you need to work super hard for money, okay? Everybody's gonna tell you that you need to work okay, 50 hours, 60 hours a week in order to become massively successful. Now, the truth of the matter is to gain wealth to an extent that is true, but that is not 100% true. The wealthiest people in the world aren't people that work super hard for money. They're people that also work kind of super smart for money, but it's not just about working hard and smart because there's a lot of hardworking people that are broke, 
You know, there's construction workers today that are some of the hardest working people in the world, okay? But at the end of the day, they're not very wealthy, you know? And then there's a lot of smart people out there with PhDs, okay, with master's degrees that are still broke. So it's not about working super hard for money. It's not about working super smart for money. I think it's about working with the right type of information to go out there and really go out there and make a lot of money, okay? And the beautiful part when I break this entire thing down is just understanding that you need to understand how wealthy people really generate wealth. And there's two main ways they do this. They do this through having a money work for them or having systems work for them. If you don't find a way to have money or have systems work for you, you're going to work for money to the day that you die inevitably, okay? And the wealthiest people in the world understand how valuable it is to go out there and get educated. All right, wealth always falls from the uneducated person's hands into the educated person's hands, right? Get educated behind stocks, behind Forex, behind cryptocurrency trading. Get educated on how to compound your money because your money doesn't need to sleep. Your money doesn't need to go out there and take breaks. Your money can work for you and work harder for you regardless than anything else. I truly believe that in 2021, it is absolutely essential for you to go out there and learn how to compound your money and make money work for you. Think about this real quick, guys. The US government, the banks, they print it faster than we can actually make it. Okay, $3.5 trillion bill that might get introduced to Congress sometime this entire coming month. Okay, they're printing it faster. Inflation, okay, averages about one to 2% every single year. For some of you guys that don't understand what that means, it basically means that you're being robbed of your buying power one to 2% every single year. So in order to protect your assets and in order to be able to go out there and have more freedom, you don't need to work super hard. You don't need to work super smart. You need to work with the right type of information and you need to get educated. That way you can go out there and have more freedom. So these are the three lies that society is going to sell you on money. Okay, and once I was able to get over these lies and really shift my perspective, my entire income shifted, my entire life shifted because I understood that now I had the right type of belief system to help me push me forward in order to attract more wealth into my life. I'll see you guys on the other side. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Peace.